Welcome to Straight No Chaser's YouTube channel, and welcome to the club. We really appreciate you being here. If you haven't been here before, we just have two simple rules. Respect everybody's opinion, and allow everybody to speak. If you follow those two rules, we will get along just fine. If you haven't followed any of the mods in the club, please do at this time. Click the greenhouse at the top and join the club. If you violate those two rules, we will send you to Goo York City. Other than that, welcome to Straight No Chaser's. And that's when the females on top sitting on your lap, in my opinion. Anything else, get off your ass. Get on your feet. Get mobile. Don't be just sitting down. And my point to saying all that is saying you're vulnerable when you're in a car riding down a street. Now, of course, we, we're supposed to learn from Pac and all of that. And you learn about boxing in and riding like that and all of that. But when you were... Everybody want to make Pac in 95, 96, like we we got Beyonce and all of them rolling around now, you know, in Bulletproof Vans and all of that stuff. The only person in the 90s was rolling like that were rock stars and fucking Michael Jackson. Do y'all think Tupac Shakur, the guy that Bane got on his goddamn uh, Face or you know as his PTR, his yeah, PTR. Yeah, okay. Do you think that man right there gonna let you treat him like like Michael Jackson allowed his security staff to treat him? If you do, you didn't know that man. He running from the security and everything. He on he ducking from the security. Huh? From no motherfuckers. You want to be bothered with them? Yeah. Well, go, he gonna drive. He gonna sit in the middle. One security said, "I mean, in a in a in a perfect world, you would have had a bulletproof car. One security sitting on the passenger side. One security said, man, niggas used to fight over the passenger's door in a car in the back seat of the limo and everything. How many stars you see sitting in in, in the limo toward the back? They all said where." Either on the passenger side of the car, and the female is on the uh, on the driver's side. And everybody else load in. I got a but, question for you, Reg. Go ahead. Uh, I want to know, um, like the same spider that's talking bad, like like wax the weirdo and shit like that, with the same spider that asked Wack to help him. So since Wack didn't help you, now fuck you. Is that what it is? That's that's wax point of view. I I can't get into it and say, but if you look on the, the interview that Wack did on Bomb first, that's his point of view. I'm sure Spider don't feel that way, and so I, I, I you know, I'm sure he tried to reach out and probably ask Wack to to help, but he didn't. In his mind, didn't feel like he needed it. Spider got his chance. Spider was with Fifty. Fifty was. And them and all of them was on top of the world. And so, um, you know, my, he, he had the exposure. He could have walked into a E1 and all of that and, and, and probably got a deal. So I don't know I don't know the business on that, but that's what uh, a, a whack feels is his reason. I'm sure Spider has a different uh, opinion on that. So then how come Spider doesn't go get a deal on his own? Why did he have to need anybody? If he feel he has the right music and the white connections, won't he go get a deal right now? Right. Yeah. Well, it's kind of too late right now because of, you know, people's age. I think <laughs> Spider's, Spider's weakness, in my opinion, was always his hooks. I thought his his verses, the, his beat selection, I always thought he was strong on that. Um, but then he's got hooks where it's, it's just like, whoa. Um, and I think that was always one of his weaknesses. But I think when you when you deal with somebody like a 50 and then you leave that and people don't know why you left and why the album didn't come out, they kind of get hesitant to fuck with you because they don't want to cross 50, Interscope, Eminem, you know what I mean? I think I, I agree. I agree with that statement. I think that's what happened to him. Because I think, I'll be honest, I think Spider is one of the uh, most articulate person on the internet. Uh, I'm not saying the, but he's up there. He's very articulate, very smart, and, and very well spoken. Don't have any sput on his name. Uh, and so, like I said, 
it's an unfortunate, you know, situation that, you know, that me and him Come on, nigga. What's up? What's up? I'm sure that's how the conversation will go. And, and we're just all Yeah, I ain't know that. I ain't know that that y'all was that close though. So that sounds like some shit that y'all gonna y'all gonna pretty much probably get over that shit soon. Oh no, Spider. Um, conversation or something. No, no, me and Spider is cool. I mean, me and Spider have a. I mean, we probably talk to each other once once a week. But that's how I am. You know, I I communicate. I got a lot of time on my hand now, but I communicate with a lot of people, especially people that's on. Right, right, man. What your, your partner, um, John? What te technically? What he? What did he do with that rope? Who? John. The John. Guy, the first guy. John. John. John was the first guy. John was a young kid from Atlanta. Uh, that that was smart. That knew how to do the websites and all of that stuff. And you know, back in '98. <laughs> We didn't know how to build websites and stuff like that. Let's keep it real, y'all. Well, those, those blacks were not all of that far with building websites. There, uh, there were some out there, but I'm just saying that that was a majority or as a whole. John was good at setting up people websites and, you know, probably uh, MySpace. I guess MySpace was <laughs> the one that popped up to that because everybody will say YouTube because we think that's all that was out there then. But shit, before YouTube, it was MySpace. And um, but mainly web websites, to be honest, for a lot of y'all that you know that was a little young, that's where you got your internet and, and your information from. Was really the web, <laughs> and uh, all of this YouTube and TikTok and all of this shit. This shit is foreign to us, to be honest. Uh, it didn't really start popping. Y'all would say 2010, 2009, but before everybody got all these different channels. It really was like 2015, 2014, before they really got popular. We still had print magazines and stuff. Yeah, y'all ran them all the business. Y'all ran the Source and Double XL and Murder Dog and all that. That's Vibe the magazine. Vibe magazine. Y'all ran all of that all the business because we used to we used to get that information every thirty days, not daily like y'all get it now. And so that's why information travels so slow. And now, like now, and everything is just in real time. I mean, we just had two sets of uh, of news outlets. I mean, where you got the your local news and then ABC World News, you know, and that only came on at night <laughs> or or first thing in the morning. So y'all live in a different era, in a different time. Reggie, you remember so that's the DVDs when they came out? I remember when DVD started coming out. Shit, I remember when we started trying, thinking to, to stop the bootleggers, just to add a little bit. That's why we put the beat downs. Y'all remember on the on the CD when we had a beat down in the front and stuff like that, because everybody was just out burning DVDs and and bootlegging, and so you had to do stuff. And we had man, I remember we was doing an advertisement on a Tupac album. Uh, we didn't eventually do it, but, but that's what we we're gonna do with MTV, where you can win a drawing. Uh, for buying the CDs. That's what we used to have to do to try to get y'all to buy the CDs so y'all wouldn't just go and buy the bootlegs at the swap meets. Because that's really who made the money was the, the, the dude at the swap meet selling all of the, those, those stuff on cassettes or DVDs for $5. Yep. But, you know. I remember that time when they all the movies, <laughs> you can get all the movies, all that shit. I remember that time. Bootlegs and shit like that. Hell yeah! Shut up. What you think, Pac? What you think, Pac would have did with an Instagram just for his time at that room? What type of content you think we would have got out of that if Pac had an Instagram when he was at that? He would be uh, big as the Kardashians and all of them now. Yeah, you know, as far as the, you know, with IG yeah. and all that. So you, Pac, been... Pac had a, see, Pac was different. Than most dudes, and I, I I listened to an interview with Snoop the other day, where he said he, he explained the difference between famous and a star. Pop was a star, and you know you can be famous and all of that and have power, and you know Jesse Jackson and all of them were 
they had power and stuff like that back in the days. But Pac was one of those that the women love, the thugs love, the politicians had to listen to. He was just so, you know, the, the movie, the movie industry had to listen to. He was just a star, a superstar. Uh, you know, the difference between, you know, Michael Jordan versus where you have some players that, that just got the it, where you just want to go and buy their stuff and, and, and be around them and, and, and hear what they got to say. When you have some people that's just good basketball players, like a Kawhi Leonard, who's just good, but who got some Kawhi Leonard's on right now? <laughs> well, I bet at least three or four of y'all sitting on with some George on your feet right now. So, you, think, you think that them Kawhi Leonard's going to be worth something now that all this shit going on and don't want to um, make no more of his shoes and shit? Oh, you, oh, you, uh, Kawhi, are uh, we getting the people mixed up? You know, Kawhi. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking about Kyrie. I'm thinking about Kyrie now. <laughs> and that's what I think. Yeah. But that's my point, you know. The, I'm just trying to show you how you got people that just stars and then, and, the, and you got people that's good and that's famous. That's the only reason I kind of, you know, try to bring that up. Yeah, yeah. So, but I, I would think, I would call him a superstar more than just a star. I think he, you got to put the super in front of that. I think I did. I thought I did, bang. I thought I said super. You said star. That kind of took away from it a little bit. I, I see it was a little bit bigger than that. That kind of took away from it. That's a superstar, that man. Yeah, that's a superstar. He the blueprint. You got it. He still his his DNA is still in the. If you can build a rapper, you you would still need that DNA. You would still need his DNA. There's a couple of other rappers' DNA that you need, but you that's the foundation right there, that, that Tupac DNA. I apologize. Give me one second, y'all. I thought I was. I thought my phone was messed up or something. No, that was that was me. I'm sorry. I was talking to uh, somebody and my wife walking them out. I apologize. Hey, bang! I would disagree with you because my nigga back there said Gucci Gang 56 times, and it's a classic. Nah, but th what I mean, bump is is not just the, not the content. <laughs> Not the content, bro, the, the look. So he still got the tattoos like pop. The tattoos, you got to get the tattoos to pop. Oh. So it's still the same DNA, bro. Okay, okay, I see you there. I see you. Hey, somewhere in there, bro. You got to put something that he did. The, the don't give a fuck attitude, the tattoos, the um, just the rapping from the gut. And when I say that, just just saying what's on your mind like type shit. That's still in the DNA today for the rappers. That's a fact. I, I have to, I have to bumper. I have to bumper. Yeah, I'm back. I'm, I'm back if y'all need me. Yep. Yeah. Sorry about that. The D, like the DNA of Pac is still in like the all the successful rappers today. Uh, yeah, who would y'all say that? Who y'all consider on this level other than maybe a J. Cole or there, um, at one no time? Or, young boy yeah. gonna be what Pac is to me. I think the NBA you like young gonna be to these kids. Okay. I I think the closest thing I would say is Kendrick. That's the that's about the closest yeah. thing I see to oh, him. He had that superstar. Nah, that boy I don't dirt. think he got that appeal. I don't think I don't think women running down trying to get with Kendrick. You know, I just don't think he has that appeal. <laughs> I, I, think go, I, know, I think Lil Durk is the is the new like part for them. No, guys. Bumpy, no, 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 no. All right, bro. Them niggas take that nigga Dirk word is Bond, bro. It might be young boy like Bang said. No, nah, it's definitely young boy for sure. I didn't even I forgot about young boy. Definitely young boy. Now does young boy have a political a social message or he just you know what I'm saying? Because Pac came with the street shit, but he also had that political social message that people couldn't walk away from. Yeah, he's not. not That's he why I really said dirt. dirt. He doesn't really have. But look how look how Pac music traveled. Look how we still can bump it today. I, I saw some of my homeboys, they were showing me, bragging to me, how they were on their way to Vegas. You know, they rent a spinner and they like, Reg, look what you're missing out on. 
And guess what those niggas was playing all the way up on the trip? Niggas, you know, they all my age, so of course, so that's the era, but they all still bumping park and that stuff was sounding good. I ain't gonna lie, the Mexicans that gonna never let Tupac die out either. <laughs> they <leveled. laughs> that's a fact, Bumpy. That's a fact. I can hit a Mexican hood right now. I'm trying to throw Mexican hood. And, and, and all the uh, like like old school knocks. So all they know is Pac. I be playing Pac on the block. They know it word for word. <laughs> but see, females, and it's females, every they, know these dudes, they know it word for word. They be knowing verses I don't even know. Bro, it's every generation too, bro. To the young nigga, to the young Mexican homies, do you feel me? The all, all the all the Mexican homies ain't no pop, bro. But how come we don't hold on to our own like that? We I mean, do. We I mean, we do. Yo, let me. We just... do. We love. We do. It's just. I mean, maybe we just love. <laughs> not, not yeah, not work the same way too. We got you know, a lot of people too. Does Tupac come on? Tupac come on in the club. You know, everybody gonna everybody gonna do what they do. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay, okay. I can't agree with you on that one, Thrower. Because the other day somebody was in here that was like probably just turned thirty, and he knew every song that. We played when it came to Tupac, word for word. But now, nah, yeah. that was surprising. I was about to say the same thing. But now, nah, but Big Bro, then you got artists that like that. That takes a toll on who raised them, too, though. Listen to Pac. That's, That's right, because my kids know it because of me. Yeah, but see, yeah, yeah, because of me, my kids know it. But then I, I see this little trend of trying to diss the Tupacs, the Nas, is the, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, w w uh, even the biggies, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it just seems like that's a thing somebody's trying to figure out how to make a trend. Yep. And you see more and more people doing it. Whereas you don't see no other nationalities dissing they legends. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Competition stuff. If you tell me anybody's better than me, I'm going to be like, nah, I'm the best person. He didn't even matter to me. Nah, I nah, think bro. I think I think when it comes to us ragging on certain motherfuckers, I think we just get on certain people harder than the other ones. That's all. True. Nah, just because they be like Tupac the best, Tupac this, Tupac that, I'm gonna say nigga fuck Tupac, nigga. You know I think that's the right. I, I I ain't gonna lie because I do the same thing with Biggie, and, and, and then all the extra ammo that I got. You feel me? I just use that for just more bullshit. Yeah, you know, that, 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 being a legend or him being. Yeah, don't be confused, man, because we young people still hold Tupac to a high regard. It's just when y'all trying to throw it in our face, we be like, nah, we don't even pay attention to it. I'm just a back. What y'all? What y'all opinion or take on uh, him, him getting in the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame before all the uh, people like a Snoop or? Or, uh, I mean, that's a given. He's supposed, to. He's supposed to. For before yeah, some of the other artists, before yeah, because Snoop. I mean that's that's his that's his people. They're gonna look at they're gonna look at him like God, like they do. Yeah, yeah keyword rock and roll. Then they induct run run DMC in the rock. So we already got black people in the rock. Oh, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not saying that there's nothing in there. Park and Biggie's in there. I'm just yeah, saying, so but you know, but but the, the other artists that was out before them that were, I'm not saying they sold more because we know they didn't, but uh, but oh, oh, definitely Snoop one, and y'all know I hate if anybody know anything about me, you know I hate on Snoop more than anybody, but I still think Snoop one, I think uh, LL if he's not in, uh, uh, let's see who else. Shit, DMX. Mm, that's uh, a good one, bro. Uh, that's a good one for sure. Let's see. Let me I get what you're saying, but you know what I mean? I think so even them men man, that have more influence in that than some of the rappers you name, even though they still do deserve it. I assume that's true. So how do, we, how do we take, how do we make the rap and hip hop for Hall of Fame. How do we take that and make that's that? That's what we need. That's the only thing that's going to change. They that's going to change the game. Doing. They should have been doing that. Shit. I don't know what they doing. Hey, but look, look, look. We can't look, look. We can't leave it up to them what they've been. They should have been doing. We got the idea. How do we? How do we make it work? Uh, what? What? What is the? What is the same? What are the same? Um, same processes that they got to go through that makes it just extra what it is we we already know we make the grammys we make the oscars we make the tonys we make all that shit hype so if we're the ones that's gonna make it you feel me pop it for our own hip-hop rap hall of fame we need to be the ones pushing it 
It's well, got to start off with somebody that's got a platform. Compared to other genres of music, you know what I mean? So, you know, right now might be the good time because we just might have enough material for us to have like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or uh, Hip Hop Hall of Fame. You know what I mean? We yeah, still, but then like, get another Probably we gonna somebody go for Hell no, I ain't. They got some big performance. DT Awards be good, but they don't win. Uh, so a lot of Neo people used to Ford. watch the Source Awards. Yeah, Earth, Wind, and Fire. There, you know what I mean. I'm about to slide. Let's see, check. Well, I'm just saying we don't want to be the source of wars. That's what they will make it be if you, you know, you take it from the Rock Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or the Grammys and stuff like that. Like a Jay Z or something like that get involved. I think that that shit would be. That's a good point. Just like you know what I mean. Just like the other ones, it wouldn't be. On, I know what you're saying when it comes to the source and stuff like that. The source of wars because that was that was like my era. You understand what I'm saying? It used to be gang banged out and all that crazy shit. I think if so it was somebody like Jay, yeah, of course. So if it was somebody like Jay Z that would do something like that, I think it would become successful. You know what I mean? And there will be something for us instead of claiming something that we don't really, you know what I mean? Do even though rock and roll was created by black people and stuff like that, also, but still, yeah. that's something. How that many y'all watched you know I mean? that that war show that uh, just went off with with Fat Joe host? You know. Did we support that real big? The the, uh, the BET Hip Hop Awards. Did y'all really support that? Tell the truth. For that for sure. I used to, but I stopped. Nah, that shit trash now. Exactly. Hey, doesn't Ti have a hip hop museum or something like that? Why ain't he sprout the idea? Ain't there a hip hop museum? Easy, bro. I'm big on my They're too lazy. Crown Let's stuff. be real. They they don't want to do that shit. They rather for to be nominated by white people than start our own shit. We had it's basically the same discussion when he was talking about um That's black exact. actresses and black actors going to white <laughs> movie companies instead of going to deal with like Tyler Perry and black movie companies. You feel me? Yeah, okay, I got that. Yeah. Cause I mean, like Reggie said, if you think about it, like like Mr. Reggie, you said uh, Snoop deserves to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I agree with that, but somebody else I agree that should be in there is Rakim. Rakim yeah. doesn't even get talked about, and he's the like God MC. That's a no. Nah, did did Snoop, didn't Snoop just get added to that though? To the heart of um, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, like what about Rakim, bro? Like Rakim was out way before a lot of these niggas. The big jewelry, the cars, the rap style, the look. Rock him basically started that shit. Yeah, he changed the flow because uh, the hip hop hall of fame. I would say he the first. Rock him was the first one to change all that shit from all that yeah. flashy stuff. Exactly, and bro. To, and that's before that my era. Relative. That was my mom era. But so I just know hip hop. Exactly. So that's the shit that was like when we were kids, that was the people that we we looked up to when it came to hip hop. Like when you guys were talking about all that flashy stuff that people used to listen to, I, can't, I couldn't relate to that because I didn't know anything about that. When I was a kid, we listening, we were listening to like Eric B and Rakim, EPMD, DOS Effects, all that Ooh, crazy EPMD. shit. Like that. You know what I'm saying? Bring it yeah, back. So Damn. Them niggas right there, they wasn't dressed with all tight bell bottoms and, 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 and shit like that. Like they was doing back in the 70s and early 80s and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, Rakim yeah. 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 changed it. He, hey, yo, Reggie, also, is, uh, I got a question for you. Is Wu Tang in the Hall of in, uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? It's a good question. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure they are. I know NWA is as a group. I know NWA is. Uh, I do believe, I know Ron DMC is. Uh, um, I was trying to think, I was trying to think. I know Ghetto Boy should be from the West Coast, but, you know, I, I really think, I love Ghetto Boy's album. I know they only had one or two great albums, uh, but I'm pretty sure I do remember seeing Flavor Flavor Flay, so I think... Uh, yeah, Flavor's in there. I'm looking at yeah, it right think, now. Um, yeah. You got MC right. Ren, Flavor Flay, uh, Run DMC, Dr. Dre, uh, B. Well, not them as individuals. Dr. Dre and them on the end of the right as uh, NWA, as the group. 
Okay, they're showing him in here as an individual. Well, Dre might be, but I know MC Ren ain't. <laughs> That's you know what, I good, bet yeah. you, I think you're, you know what, they have him in here as an individual, but I bet you it's NWA, and they just have him broken exactly. down. Exactly, got to be as a group. Yeah. Your yeah, thrower. So add Rock and Mike D in, which means Beastie Boys. Your thrower, you don't see no KRS, no LL in there or nothing? Mm, LL's in there. You see uh, King Yo? Is King Yo in there? Here we go. Such a fucking troll. This nigga gonna wait. This nigga wake up out of his sleep just to say that. King Yo in there. I ain't even gonna lie. I look. I was like, okay, K I N. <laughs> nah, you tripping, dude. But, um, yeah, I thought it was more artists in here, and it's not. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like, subscribe to the video, and follow us on all social media platforms. Come back daily to see new content or shit we throw out just to keep your day going. Remember, we put out nothing but premium content. The one, the only, straight no chasers.